Thank you, Sammy. Excellencies, heads of states and governments, heads of organizations globally and locally, distinguished delegates, aspiring youth from all over the world, fellow tweeters and live streamers and Facebookers, ladies and gentlemen, we warmly welcome you to this fourth annual Youth Symposium on Sustainable Development at the Pontifical Academy of Sciences in collaboration with the Sustainable Development Solutions Network and its youth initiative here at the Casino P04 in beautiful Vatican City. What a blessing to be here. In the next few days, we bring together youth leaders from all over the world in order to join hands. And again, as Sammy said, and we cannot stress enough, network together to create solutions to help achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We are here for three main reasons, to connect, to collaborate, and to celebrate. Let us address what Pope Francis calls the globalization of indifference right here in this very forum. The Greek philosopher Aristotle believed that a person should take the high ground. Rather than the individual good, one should orient oneself to the common good. St. Thomas Aquinas on the role of government knew that government could encourage justice by protecting the lives and property of its citizens and that if its fellow women and men would also tend to the poor and the needy rather than expecting their government to do it all, a much better society could exist. Let us all as global citizens return to this great calling. What we are about today, what this youth symposium aspires to achieve here, is to hear and consider all the creative approaches from the numerous representatives from across the globe. Poverty is such a critical starting point that it is our sincere hope that you will in some way tie your project into the UN Sustainable Development Goal number one, the overarching goal to move towards the eradication of poverty, or certainly to at least demonstrate to us how your project relates to other SDGs. It is important that you will also share with us how you envisage the scale up would occur with your project. How would it be scaled into a grassroots local government budget? How would it be scaled into a state, national or international funding source or by the private sector? The scale up helps us to understand whether or not you have considered the feasibility of your project. Is it realistic? Have parts of it already been proven to be effective in some area of society? If so, that is something we need to know. Since the United Nations goal is to end poverty in its many forms throughout the world by 2030, I remind all of you in this room that that is only 13 short years away. And what can a young person possibly do about these global problems that would make any difference anyway? You and your project can actively show your critical thinking processes, that you have intentionality to participate in the policy making process on the road to ending poverty, so your opinions and voice can be heard and considered and that your innovations begun here today can become engines for change, for transformational seismic shifts in our world tomorrow. 
our UN Secretary Deputy General, Amina Mohammed, a great hero of mine, recently gave a speech at the UN Economic and Social Council. She emphasized that to face headlong into poverty and all its forms, including social and financial inequities, climate change and food insecurity, will require multidimensional actors at all levels of society and a huge collective approach. There must be a building of partnerships spanning the breadth of poverty and its complicated interlinkages. There is a broad diversity of stakeholders involved in these processes. So all voices must be heard. So again, I stress to all the youth seated in this room, whatever the outcome of your project here today, or whatever you think the outcome of it is, you are already the winner, else you would not be here participating today. Try to use this conference for the greater good than just being the project that seems to be the best. Again, I say the three C's, connect, collaborate, and celebrate. Consider cross-linkages. Consider creative partnerships, expanding your ideas to form connectivity with other potential partners you meet here at Casina Pio. It might even be the person seated right next to you. Connect with Dr. Jeff Sachs, with Bishop Sanchez Sarando, with Dr. Sonia Sachs, with Dr. Anthony Annett, me, any other persons gathered here, fear not. We are here for you. Collaborate. Join hands with your distinguished colleagues here you have yet to meet or hear from. Your project might be bettered because of them and possibly even with them. And last but not least, celebrate. Celebrate this important moment in your lives and careers. Celebrate this time that you can form new friendships, alliances, interlinkages, and new ideas expanding on your own. And in the words of His Holiness Pope Francis, celebrate that the only future worth building includes everyone. Thank you.